beauty of her translucent skin, the pearls in her hair, the luxurious fabrics, all contrast with the horror of what is about to happen. This work highlights her abilities. It's called Lucretia and was painted between 1623 and 25. It shows a story of Lucretia, the wife of a Roman general named Tarquinius. She's about to commit suicide because she was sexually assaulted by one of her husband's soldiers who then attempted to blackmail her. Knowing what we do about her life, it is clear why she chose to paint the story. Artemisia had similar experiences and she poured those emotions into her piece. Lucretia is in anguish as she prepares to take her life. Artemisia used tenebrism, or the extreme contrast between light and dark, to highlight the drama of the moment. Only Lucretia is well lit, everything else fades to blackness. It takes an incredibly strong person to turn their personal suffering into an object of beauty, and it takes an even stronger woman to do so in a male-dominated time. Orazio Gentileschi, Artemisia's father, was asked to do a job with another painter, Agostino Tassi. And it was here, in the family home on Via della Croce, when Artemisia was working on a painting in her father's studio, that Agostino Tassi came to the house and he raped her. The weather was wet and I was painting when Agostino came by. And he grabbed the palette and the brushes that I was holding in my hand and he threw them around the room. He brought a hand with a handkerchief up over my throat and over my mouth so that I could not scream. Agostino was a criminal, okay? In any and whatever way. He did not pay anybody. He attacked every woman in addition to her mention. He was truly a terrible person. Demisia Gentileschi was born in Rome in 1593, the eldest of seven children. Her mother died when she was only 12, so she was raised by her father, Orazio Gentileschi, an acclaimed painter of European royals and the nobility. Orazio was considered one of the most successful followers of the momentous Italian painter Caravaggio, and Artemisia would likewise become Caravaggio's only well-known female follower. His influence is particularly manifest in her mastery of chiaroscuro, a style used to emphasize volume and value through the stark contrast between light and dark. But Gentileschi was introduced to art by way of her father. In 1610, she completed her first known painting entitled Susanna and the Elders, 